Hello, I'm Miss Sharon. This is Will, and it's good to be here. It is great to be here. Welcome to our lesson this morning. Let's start. Will, we always start by welcoming the Holy Spirit and Jesus and God into our space. I have my old kitty Will with me this morning because we're talking about um, Mary and Martha, who were sisters. We think they were sisters in our Bible story today. And Will had a sister, Grace. You remember Gracie? Yes, your old sister. She has since passed away, but she and Will were very different. You know how siblings can be very different, right? Well, Mary and Martha were different just like Will and Grace. Even though they looked a lot alike, Will and Grace were very different. Gracie was very shy and very loving. Yes, you remember Gracie. And Will, he's much more adventurous, always in the middle of everything. He told the dog who was boss, for sure. Um, so we'll find out in our story today about these two sisters, Mary and Martha, and how they were different, especially in this one story. During his ministry, Jesus traveled a lot. On one trip in Galilee, he stayed at the home of Mary and Martha. These two women welcomed Jesus into their home. However, they chose different ways of doing that. They both showed hospitality. Do you know what hospitality is? Hospitality is the way you welcome and entertain your guests. Martha prepared the meal, she cleaned the house, she did a lot of work to welcome Jesus into the house. Whereas Mary um, just sat at the feet of Jesus and listened to him. Martha wasn't very happy with this. She was a bit frustrated at Mary's choice. She asked Mary, how can you just sit there and relax while I was doing all the work and preparing all the meal? And Jesus said, you know what? It's okay to just stop and be with God. So let me read to you this story of Mary and Martha from our condensed Bible. It's from the book of Luke, chapter 10, verses 38 through 42. Jesus and his followers were traveling and they needed a place to rest. Jesus' friends, Mary and Martha, invited Jesus to stay with them. When Jesus arrived, Mary sat at his feet to listen to him, and Martha served everyone. Martha was tired. She was doing all the work, while Mary was just sitting and enjoying Jesus' company. Martha thought this was unfair. Jesus, it's not fair that Mary is not helping. Tell her to help me, said Martha. Martha. What Mary is doing is important, Jesus said. Mary has chosen to listen closely to me and to learn about God. Sometimes it is better to sit and just be with me. Hmm, sometimes it's just better to sit and just be. Spending time with God is important. So let's hear what our friend Samuel has to say about this story, and I'll be back in a minute, and we'll check out what's in the Wonder Box. Hi everyone, it's Samuel. This is the story about two different sisters. Jesus comes to visit his friends, Mary and Martha, at their home to have a meal. Martha is making sure the house is perfect. She's cooking and cleaning, and making sure Jesus feels welcome. On the other hand, Mary is sitting with Jesus. She's listening to his stories and learning from his teaching. Mary and Martha are both trying to make sure Jesus has a great stay with them, and they're doing it their own way. There's only one problem. Martha gets really upset that Mary is sitting with Jesus. She doesn't understand how Mary can just relax and talk while she's doing all the work to prepare the meal. Just like Martha, it can be very easy for us to judge people if they don't act how we would act or how we think they should act. Martha was mad at her sister Mary because she wasn't helping her. But Martha didn't realize that Jesus didn't come for a meal. 
He came to have a relationship and a conversation with them. One time, I was going to a friend's birthday party. I wanted to get the perfect gift. I was looking for it all day and finally got it. But I was too late to the party. I thought the perfect gift would make me a good friend. My friend was grateful for the gift, but I could tell my friend was sad that I'd missed so much of the party. Sometimes we forget just being with a friend is enough. Martha showed Jesus love by preparing their home. Mary showed Jesus love by sitting down and listening to him. Mary and Martha are both guides who showed us different ways to be with Jesus and connect to God. Now it's time for you to wonder. I wonder what's in the wonder box. Oh, huh, I know what these are. Measuring spoons. It reminds me of Martha back there busily preparing the meal for Jesus. If you had Jesus over for dinner, what would you make for Jesus? What kind of meal would you prepare? Hmm. So what we learned from this story is that we all respond to situations in different ways. We're all very unique people. And it doesn't mean that you're doing things wrong. Each of us is called to follow Jesus in our own way. What is most important is that we take time to stop and listen to Jesus as a guide in our lives so that we can be faithful and loving followers. Jesus reminds us that there will always be work to do. There's always work to do. There's always meals to cook and there's always houses to clean. But we don't always have a chance to focus on one another. It's not bad to work hard, but choose to do so with a loving heart. And don't miss out on the chance to build relationships and grow closer to God. So don't spend your time always being busy, busy, busy. Just take a moment, take a breath, check in with God especially during this time of Lent. When we're journeying through these 40 days of Lent together, this is the time to really focus intentionally, that means purposefully, with God. Take that time every day to check in and share your feelings, your thoughts, your hopes, your joys, your concerns. Share them with God. Will you pray with me? Dear God, help me to grow closer to you during Lent. Thank you for giving us Jesus as our guide to show us the importance of spending time with you. Help me to show hospitality and love you and others with my whole heart. Amen. Have a great week ahead and enjoy this time of Lent, growing closer to God. Um, I am filling in my Lenten calendar as I go, coloring in the days, and uh, this is attached to your lesson today, if you haven't printed one out yet. And remember that everyone does things differently. The most important thing is that we do it with a loving heart. Have a great week ahead. Bye-bye. So even though they looked... <laughs> what's in... Oh, what... <sighs> A lot of fur here.